Hey guys, welcome to my channel. I'm April Honey. Today we are on the paleo plot of my friend Genki Colleen. Colleen is a content creator here on YouTube and she has done amazing things with her house. I cannot wait to show them to you. Let's get started. So first we're gonna go over to her little farm over there. It looks so cozy and sweet. I can't wait to see it. She has a little uh, camping stove area right here, which looks really cute and cozy. Everything right here is very cozy. She's made in here, if you look over on, on the corners, she's made a little scarecrow out of like a pillar, a shelf, a bucket, and the log, um, what is it called? The log planter or the the log house planter and it looks so cute there's one on both sides of the farm so there's another one right over here and they look adorable she's arranged her preserves jars back there to be beautiful and functional and i absolutely love that okay now i'm gonna take you along the front of this house right here aside from the cute little plushies she obviously has a way better luck with that than i do the little plushies over here look adorable with the grow furniture and all of the furniture chosen here looks really magical there's a ton of flow trees here y'all look at all of those flow trees they look beautiful with these hydrangeas over here everything looks super pretty this is the wooded plot it looks lovely so here she's made a little shrine for the kitsu and it looks super cute I love the way this looks right here. It's so beautiful. The building blocks have added so much creativity to this game and I love seeing what everyone is building. So good. I do hope they increase the plot limits because she reached her plot limit and I totally identify with that. That's why I'm afraid to build in the game. But she also made this little open apiary thing right here and look at how cool this little structure is that is so neat wow this is beautiful i don't have any words i would say words normally but i don't have any words right now to describe how i feel about this this is stunning she has started building across the tunnel over there that stuff is glitched in but i can't um show it to you because she's not finished with it yet look at how pretty that is now there's nothing leading up to this so i'm just gonna appear in the next area okay so if we come along the side of the house right here we have this beautiful little area along the house with all of the flowers and all of the items she's collected so many items in this game already that i just don't have absolutely beautiful we have an adorable little Kitsu and Sir Nook picnic going on right here and a little tea party in the back. There's a little cookout where they're making Chapa dogs over there. And then we have this cute little walkway right here and the little cart where, with the grow furniture where you can sit and eat something over here. And then the log path over here looks so good. And here we have this little covered area. It looks so beautiful. All of this furniture looks so good in here. I would never think, it's like a shrine, but it's also like a spa. It's very fantastical and beautiful. Wow, that looks so good. I love the way the Kalimo lanterns look in here, hanging from the ceiling as well. Everything looks beautiful. And then if you continue over here, we have two of the little dragons right there guarding the little tree. What is it? The tree of life. I don't know. I haven't gotten it yet, but it's beautiful. I love it. And then a cozy little seating area right here. So earlier I got stuck in this area. Um, so we're going to go around and I'm going to attempt to get up there without getting stuck this time. Also, look at this hot tub she built around. It looks so beautiful with the party lights and everything. All right, coming around to give you a better look. Look at Tao sitting over there in his bathtub. 
This is so cute. I love the way this area looks. It looks so cozy and relaxing. It looks exactly like something that I would want to be sitting in right about now. I'm going to go to the right first, but because this parkour thing is not the easiest for me, I will get back to you when I get up. Okay, I'm up. I cannot jump and talk at the same time. But look at this rooftop bar. How fun is this? You have a view of the entire plot from up here and I love it. Oh, it's so cool. Wow, this is so neat. Look at my little Drake. He's so cute. Oh my goodness, this is beautiful. You gotta have, you know, a place to drink up with as close to the stars as you can get. And this is amazing. I love this little tree house right here. And I love the steps that she made, even if I am clumsy and I can't get up and down them. And then over here on this side, she put the chapa fountain so that one of the chapas is nestled in the tree right there. Look at how cute he looks over there. Oh my goodness, I love it. This is one of my favorite things right here is this little chapa in the tree. He is so cute. The little frog guy is right there as well, and he's adorable too. All right, we're gonna go up. Well, we're gonna try and go up. Okay, I made it. All right, we made it to the second level. And here we have a little library seating area. Look at how beautiful this is. So cool. I do love that we can hang things on those walls. It just looks so good. And then she has a ton of decor. Wow, someday when I grow up, I wanna actually be as good as Colleen at this game. I feel like we're playing a different game. Again, I will meet you at the top since I tend to fall kind of a lot. Okay, I made it to the top and look at the lunar moth right here looking super cute in this rooftop paradise right here i kind of want to live here except that i'd probably fall off if i did but it's beautiful look at how neat this tree house is the roof everything about it is stunning i'm gonna try and get like a higher view over here so that you guys could see the roof look at how neat this is this is so cool I love the way this looks right here. This is absolutely beautiful with all of the trees around the house. Everything looks so magical from up here. Okay, we are inside the house and look at how magical this looks. There's a little tea party over here with the little Mujins and all of the little animals. They're so cute over here. The little new dragon that we've gotten. It looks like everybody's invited. I kind of want to take a seat and eat one of those cakes too, because cake. We have a beautiful kitchen over here. This is so pretty and so cozy. Wow, I love the way this kitchen looks. It's amazing. With the little fireplace in the corner, so cozy. And a little dining nook over there in the other corner with a basket of mushies. Wow, this kitchen is so good. I love the way this looks. Even this industrial fan on the wall is really neat. Oh, the ranch furniture looks so good over here. And then over here we have some Mujin vying for some table scraps in our dining area. Look at how fancy that is. There is a feast over here and it's so beautiful. We have some cute paintings on the wall. I actually haven't gotten those paintings. Those are beautiful. And then look at the flower arrangements. How beautiful is that? So pretty on both sides. That is just so cool. You just have to see, so sometimes you just have to see things the way other people decorate with them and then something that might not have been for you just becomes amazing to you when you see somebody else do it. 
Look at how pretty this is. The little garden planters and everything. So you can get this item right here from Badger when you get your gardening up. So cute. And then the little fish in the cabinet. That looks adorable. I love that. I would have never thought of doing something like that. That's so cool. So this is a little green room. Oh my gosh, look at the little plushy friend up there. Oh my goodness, he's so cute. I can't. How? I didn't even know that one existed. I'm really going to have to look up all of the plushies in this game and get to work. My whole life is going to start revolving around gaining plushies. We have a beautiful bedroom over here. It's so magical and it's like very twilight themed and look at how magical and beautiful that is. Oh my goodness. And then looking beyond the bedroom, it looks unreal almost like that's just a big, huge painting, but it's not a big, huge painting. And to make that log, um, to make that archway, the entrance look like an archway, she put the little log wall decoration and arranged it in a way that it looks very much like an arch. And it's so cool. And then with all of the greenery coming through the roof, it looks so like witchy and magical. I love the way that looks. And these candles glow is amazing as well. Look at that. That is so cool. I only have one of these guys and look at how cute they are. I love this. Look at this room, y'all. I quit. I quit. I don't think I'm ever going to decorate in this game. I'll never, I don't know if I can do this, but look at how cool this is. Oh, I love the way this bathtub looks here with items in it. Oh, wow. That's so neat. I love all the clutter. This speaks to my clutter core heart in a very serious way. Oh, and this little, I don't know what it is. It's a basket, right? It's so cute. Sitting in the chair like that. I love that. That is adorable. And then all of the starfish she has. So good. She is at her plot limit, so she's having to take away things, which is kind of sad because I do love this. This is all so good. And then all of these little nooks and crannies. Look at how cute they are. The little ladybug plushie. Oh my goodness, so cute with the little crickets up top, uh, leaf hoppers. I'll get that right. And then another one over here with a glow bug and more fish. I love that you can stack those so high. That's so good. And the makeshift furniture looks amazing here. And I love that shelf. I need to do that temple. And I love that shelf. And the golden bee, beetle, beetle, bee. It looks really good, whatever it is. It is a really cool bug. This room is amazing. I kind of want to live here. If you go over here, she has a little workroom and look at how good it looks. Oh my gosh. <gasps> look at where you repair the tools. How neat is that? That is so cool. Wow. I love this. This is so neat. Oh, that's cool. I don't exactly know what this is from, but it's really cool looking. You know, I've been playing this game since alpha testing and I I'm looking at it and I'm realizing how much I don't know just because I stopped playing for six months. That is it for this plot tour. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you to Colleen for letting me tour your amazing plot. I will leave all of the details for how to get to Colleen's channel down below in the description. Thank you guys so much for being here. I appreciate you. I know you can be anywhere in the entire world and you chose to hang out with me for just a little bit and I will see you in the next one. Bye.